Welcome back to Fab Automotive Detailing. You guys, this video, we're going to take a look at a product from a company called Black Rhino, and it is their best dressed ceramic tire coating. Let's do it. So before we get this video started, you guys, if you like detailing videos, product review videos, ceramic coating videos, how-to videos, if stuff like that interests you guys, take a second, uh, go down below the video, hit that subscribe button, and then turn the little bell right next to it so that every time I upload a video, you do get notified. So Black Rhino introduced this product a few months ago. It's a rather new product on the market. This is a tire coating, not a dressing. Uh, so this should last longer than a normal tire dressing. They don't give you a time frame. Uh, you, you know, they don't say six months to a year. They say several months, uh, several washes. It says it is washable. And if you start noticing it to fail in spots, that it's easy to just basically touch it up um, and then be good to go from there. It is layerable. If you like a really shiny tire, you're going to probably have to layer it. If you like a satin finish, which is what I like, I don't ever want my tire to outshine my wheel. Um, one or two coatings. Uh, we'll find out. We'll put one on. We'll let it dry, see what it looks like. And maybe on a, a separate tire or maybe two of the four, we'll put more than one coat on uh, just so we can kind of see the difference between the two um, and see how much extra gloss it actually gives you. Now they do say on the website, um, it is meant for black sidewalls only. If you have white lettering or white stripe on your tire, you need to make sure to not get it on there because it can stain it. Not saying you can't use it on those tires, but if you do, you just have to be careful when you go around any white lettering or white walls to not stain uh, those areas with the product, you guys. It is different. Um, this is very liquidy. Um, it says it is low odors. We'll find that out. We'll see how bad um, it smells when we go to put it on. It does say the thinner the layer, the better. Um, and if you're having a problem with streaking on the sidewall or something like that, it says to actually try to blot it on uh, with an applicator. Uh, we're just going to do it the normal way that I do it. And we'll see what the results turn out looking like. This is $34.95 for this bottle. Um, but if it does last you several months or several washes, then I think that's going to be a good buy. Um, but we're going to find out in this video how easy it is to apply, um, how quickly it's going to dry. Does it dry to the touch? Is it going to sling, which it shouldn't because it's supposed to dry to the touch? Um, that's a big thing because you get done cleaning your car, which takes time. The last thing you want to do is see all that greasy stuff going on the side of your car from the tire slinging, you guys. So let's uh, show you guys the tire we're going to do it on. I have already prepared the tires. That is the most important part of any detail, whether you're doing paint, trim, tires, no matter what you're doing, preparation is always key. These tires are ready to receive a dressing. So as you can see, the tire looks really good. It's nice black. I took my time cleaning it, which is what you have to do if you want a product like this to last. Like I said earlier, preparation on anything is key. Um, on tires, if you want to get good life out of your shine or coating, whatever you're putting on, your preparation needs to be done properly. You're going to have to put some time and some effort and some elbow grease into it, but then the tire looks like that, and you will get the best experience, best look, and hopefully the best amount of life expectancy out of the product that you're putting on. All right, so when you're doing something like this, I definitely recommend wearing gloves, protect your hands, especially something that appears to be as thin as this is. Uh, it could be runny. It could get all over your skin, which you don't want to do. Uh, so definitely wear gloves when you're doing something like this. We're going to shake it up good. Pop top open. I'm using a brand new applicator. I don't remember where I got this from. This may have been in a glove box, but I don't remember. Applicator really doesn't matter. Um, I think they do sell one for it, but this is just what we're going to do here. Okay, it's definitely runny. Kind of prime it. We'll see what that does. We may need more than that. Or maybe not. I hate these good years, all these little ribs on them. Definitely has a chemical smell. It's not overwhelming. As far as their low odor claim, I would say that it's pretty spot on because it's, de I mean, you can definitely smell it, but it's not overwhelming. I really wish manufacturers wouldn't put these ribs on tires. Have to just get a paintbrush out sometimes, but the only way that you can actually go in there and 
get them perfect the way you want them or spray a coating in there a tire shine I can tell you right now that's already it's already dry you can just tell by looking at it I may have went up too far there I think I did but it's okay try to fill all these stupid ribs in okay let me show you guys what that looks like this is what it looks like right now you can see this is where I was earlier it is dry pretty much to the touch now right now it's not completely dry but I would say that's more like a a new tire look just by looking up here but let me give it a few minutes let's let the whole thing dry and we'll see what it looks like all right you guys so it has been less than five minutes maybe three maybe four minutes max since i shut the camera off uh the the sidewall is dry now you notice that it's a little bit glossier right over here and that's like i mentioned in the video earlier it's where it kind of overlapped i went into the first part of where I started um, so that's why you're seeing that if you like a brand new looking tire and you don't like a ton of shine or if any shine at all you need one coat that looks just like a brand new tire it looks really really nice me personally I want I mean look at that nice and flat looking um, just a flat black I personally want just a little bit of shine I think it makes your wheel stand out so we'll definitely do a second coat now I will say that I did walk out of the garage and went inside, got myself a cherry Pepsi. When I walked in the garage, I could smell it. So I'm not going to say it's a terrible smell, but it's definitely a chemical smell. To me, it almost smells like hot tar. I, that's the best way I can describe it. Um, but it's not a low, low odor. I guess you might consider it a low to mid odor, I guess, where I would, I would classify it. It's not overwhelming, but it's not where you just cannot smell it. You can definitely smell a little bit of odor, especially... Um, on the applicator as I sat it down I could smell it but it's not a big deal it's not a deal breaker to me but I at least want to put that out there for you guys all right so let's go ahead and do the second coat I'm going to start on the D and work my way around so that hopefully I don't overlap this this time and obviously we need to move the vehicle to get the bottom of the tire but okay so second coat is on we're going to let this dry and we'll come back all right you guys so this coat here definitely took longer there's still a few spots that are still kind of curing it's been about 10 minutes i put it on pretty thick and what i have found out as i went around because i've gone ahead and i put two coats on all the other tires um, is when you start going around the vehicle you don't have to put nearly as much in your sponge just one line will do the entire tire so i have probably too much on this tire so we're going to do a third coat on this one We'll use this one as our base uh, look for gloss as far as more than the two coats because I'll show you over here. I have two coats on these and these are about exactly what I want. I mean, that looks fantabulous. It looks really nice, you guys. Look at that. And then over here, I got two on this one. And they just look really, really, really good. So we're going to go one, and we're just going to go all the way around it because the pad's primed at this point. So you don't need a whole bunch. So it should give you, it should give us a good layer as far as evenness. There you go. There's the third coat. All right, you guys, so they are all dry. It does dry to the touch, so there's going to be no chance of sling. It takes about 10 minutes on this third coat. There's a couple streaks like right there, but other than that, the sidewalls look really, really nice. Can't pay attention to the ribs because that just, they're impossible on these stupid tires. So that's three coats on that one. That's the gloss level. This is two coats. It's definitely not as glossy, but more like what I like. The sidewall looks really, really nice. Yeah, that wire is going to my van to keep my products warm in the van. Two coats on this one. That one looks really good too. And then two coats on this one. This is just the perfect finish for me. That is exactly, 
exactly what I want out of a tire shine. See, the wheels outshine the tires, not the other way around. This tire coating does look really nice, and it does level out pretty well, too. All right, you guys, so that's going to do it for Black Rhino's Best Dressed Ceramic Tire Coating. Very happy with the results. It levels out nicely. I mean, look at these tires. These look amazing. This is exactly what I want my tire shine to look like. Now, the ribs still have a little bit shinier spots than the rest of the tire, but it doesn't matter what tire shine I use on these Goodyears, because I have these on this car and the truck, they all do this, the tire shines do. It's really hard to get those leveled out. But the rest of the tire for the sidewall leveled up very, very nicely. It looks great. Even three coats looks good. Um, me personally, I like to get away with it in one coat so I don't have to wait for it to dry and go around and do a second or third coat. That's just me personally. Not a deal breaker for me because it does look good. It, it dries quickly that first coat. So that second coat can go on pretty much within the first five minutes you're putting that second coat on. And as you go around the car, once your pad, your applicator is primed, you don't have to put a whole bunch in after that. Just a, just a small little swipe and you're good to go. I found that out in the front tire. I was actually putting way too much on, on that right front tire that I was doing on video, but that's how I learn. That's how we all learn when we use a brand new product is just from use. That's how you learn from, from doing it. Um, so I know not to do that the next time. Now, as far as the low odor, this is the only negative that I have on the product. As I used it, the more and more I was using it, the more and more I was smelling it, the more I was getting a headache. Um, maybe it's because I'm in the enclosed garage. I guarantee if you do it outside, you're probably not even going to smell it at all. But in this enclosed garage, um, I could definitely smell it. And when I walked out and came back in, I could still smell it. That's my only drawback to it. It's not terrible. Um, like I said earlier, kind of to me, it smells like really hot tar. Um, it's not overwhelming, but it's not, not noticeable. It's definitely noticeable. Um, and it did give me a little bit of a headache. So that's my only drawback. But I used, I am just right here, right, right at the top of this label. That's all I used. And this bottle wasn't completely full either. So this is an eight ounce bottle, I believe. It doesn't say, but about eight ounce bottle. You're going to get a lot of tires out of this. If you like the new car look, the new tire look, I should say, you're going to get a lot more tires. If you like, if you have to do a second coating, not as many. If you have to do a third coating, not as many, and so on and so forth. You guys kind of get the idea there. Uh, but for $34.95, if this lasts as long as they say it's going to and that you can wash your car and it's going to stay on there, then I think it's definitely worth it because it does give you a great shine. Um, now, if you're the type of person that wants to reset, reset their tire shine every time they wash their car, um, then this obviously probably won't be the product for you if it's going to last that long. Um, you'd want to go with something that you can actually just strip off really easy and, and go. Now, when I do a, a car wash or we get some rain or something like that, maybe I'll make a quick two, three minute update video just to show you guys how well the tire shine is holding up. Today is uh, January 28th. Um, so that kind of give you guys an idea. This video will probably come out this, the, the, this coming Saturday, a week from today, basically. My wife drives this car every single day. It's her daily. We get rain, we get snow, we get sleet, we get salt, we get sand. So we're going to see how well this tire shine does hold up. It looks absolutely amazing. That's exactly what I want right there. So I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video and for checking it out. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, join the fat family. We'd love to have you. And we'll see you in the next video.